Red Dead Online is one of the biggest multiplayer games on the market right now, and whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, there are always new tips and tricks that you can learn which will make your life so much easier. In this video, I'll give you 25 tips for Red Dead Online that will turn you from a cowardly cowboy to the king of the Wild West. We'll cover everything from money management to PvP tips, so no matter your playstyle, there's something in this video for you. So without further ado, let's take a look. Tip number one. Make sure that you're always checking the current monthly bonuses and discounts. This will help you maximize your profit and give you the chance to purchase certain items at a lower rate. This is going to make your life so much easier, especially as a beginner, as you'll be able to unlock content that would otherwise be inaccessible. Tip 2. If you're a beginner, you shouldn't be wasting your money on useless things like clothes. It might seem like a good idea now, but trust me, you're better off spending your money on things that will increase the amount of gold you could earn per day such as new content. This is also going to make the game more enjoyable in the long run. Tip 3. When you're getting into the game, complete stranger missions. On the map, you should be able to see a little stranger icons around the map. When you travel to these, you'll be able to initiate a stranger mission. They don't pay too well, but they are good for a bit of beginner cash. Tip 4. To save hours of times in the long run, purchase the fast travel post at your camp. Trust me, this one is a game changer. Tip 5. If you want to auto travel to any destination, set a waypoint and then enter cinematic mode. This will auto travel you to the waypoint. Tip 6. Make sure you're always completing your treasure maps. The rewards you get from these can really stack up over time, particularly as you start to increase your rank as you progress through the game. Tip 7. You're going to want to play through the Red Dead Online stories. This is literally the introduction to the game and will take you through pretty much everything you need to know. What's more is that doing these missions is going to give you a lot of money and help you buy the starter items that you'll need in the game. Tip 8. Make sure you're always going through the blood money missions. They are literally free and all you need to do is head to St. Dennis and start the cutscene. Once you've done this, you get access to every blood money mission. Each mission can net you around 1 gold bar an hour if you're lucky. Tip 9. Make sure you understand the payout system within Red Dead Online. Unlike other games, Red Dead doesn't like you to complete missions quickly, and the longer you take to finish a mission, the better payout you're going to get. So in short, take your time when completing missions, and you'll be adequately rewarded. Tip 10. When you're buying multiple of the same item in the catalog, hold down the purchase button. It will purchase the maximum amount available at that time. This is going to stop you from constantly spamming the purchase button. Tip 11. If you want to see your character's statistics, simply open up the player tab within the menu. This will allow you to assess whether or not there's something wrong with your character, which is impacting one of the stats. Tip 12. Your outfit would actually affect the temperature of your character, so make sure you have a warmer outfit for colder climates and cooler outfit for hotter environments. Tip 13. Speaking of outfits, you can change your outfit while on your horse. Just make sure you have some outfits stored in your saddlebags. With the best bags, you'll be able to store up to 7 outfits at any given time. Tip 14. When you're in a PvP situation, it's a good idea to constantly keep moving. When you stand still, you give your position away to other players. If you're going to stand still, then make sure it's behind cover, as this will allow you to hide your position better and give you an opportunity to launch a surprise attack. I've got a quick bonus tip on the subject of PvP, too. Whenever you're engaged in a tight battle, you're going to need to have better focus and energy than your opponent to be able to take them out. The way I get this heightened focus is by taking glitch energy. And no, glitch drinks aren't some BS concoction of additives and e-numbers. They're made from natural ingredients, specifically designed for gamers like you. Right now, if you use the code J97, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Trust me, you can thank me later. Tip 15. During horse races, PvP is actually enabled, so you're going to want to be aware that the other players can take you out, but you should also use this to your advantage and take out the other players. Oh, and make sure to aim for their horses rather than the player, it's a much bigger target. Tip 16. If you're going to be doing a lot of horse races, it's a good idea to stay back until the very last leg of the race. Because Red Dead Online has the same mechanic as GTA Online where catch up is available, so being first place all the time is literally the worst thing that you could do. Tip 17. If someone manages to catch you in a lasso, go to your weapon wheel and equip your knife. 
This will let you get free instantly. If you clean up your weapon wheel with a locker, you'll be able to equip this super quickly, giving you a better chance of survival. Tip 18. One of the most underrated purchases in Red Dead Online is the Stew Bar. Not only will this allow you to restore your cores, but it will also give you access to new daily challenges, which you can then complete for gold. Tip 19. The Painted Black Ability Card is by far the best of all the Dead Eye Ability Cards in the game, so you need to make sure you use it. When you use the Black Ability Card, you'll gain the ability to paint targets on several enemies or animals at once which is extremely useful when fighting off enemies or hunting. Tip 20. You should also be upgrading the ability cards that you use most frequently. Now, don't get me wrong, these upgrades are indeed expensive. So experiment to find your favorite combinations and then focus on upgrading these. Tip 21. The general rule of thumb is that you shouldn't hunt with a shotgun because shotgun shells massively decrease the quality of the pelt and meat that you can harvest from the animal. But this is the case with legendary animals. Instead of having a 3 star system like normal animals, legendary animals just have a health bar. It doesn't matter how you kill them. So, because shotguns do so much damage, hunting legendary animals with your shotgun is a pretty decent idea. Tip 22. However, one thing that you should never use to hunt is incendiaries or explosives. These weapon types will completely ruin any material you get from an animal, both regular and legendary. So stay away from fire when hunting. Tip 23. Work on getting all your rolls to the maximum level. This sounds a lot easier said than done, and it's going to take you a lot of time, but once you achieve this, you'll be able to reap all the rewards and benefits that come with max level rolls. Tip 24. Steer clear from purchases that aren't going to give you a positive return on investment. Otherwise, you're going to remain poor forever. There are so many items in the game that you just don't need, like the advanced camera for example. So just don't buy these items and you'll thank yourself down the line. Tip 25. Never purchase gold bars. Now, I know it might seem tempting because getting a decent amount of gold is a very grindy process, but buying gold would be a waste of the actual cash that you earned hard for. For one, the exchange rate is absolutely horrific, and if you want to make any kind of impact with your real cash, you're probably going to have to spend upwards $100. And this can also feel like cheating or the easy way out, making the game a little less enjoyable. Plus, there are dozens of videos on this channel going through how you can stack up plenty of gold in a short space of time. So there's really no point going down the pay to win route. So there you have it, 25 tips that will take you from target practice to the most feared player in the wild west. If you implement these tips, you'll notice improvements to your game across the board, from generating money, to taking out players, to hunting. Let us know the tips that you're going to implement straight away in your Red Dead Online journey. And if you enjoyed this video, check out our recent guide ranking each Red Dead Redemption Chapter 2 from worst to best. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.